Three victims have been evacuated from the site of a collapsed building in Area 11 Garki in the federal capital territory, Abuja. Now, according to the FCT Emergency Management Department, no life was lost to the incident. Eyewitnesses say the four-story building collapsed at about 8.25 p.m. on Monday. It was gathered that the old structure of formerly Westbrook Hotel and offices was undergoing renovations before the incident. Arise News Senior Correspondent Ferdinand Duroha joins us now from the site for an update. It's good to have you on, on Newsday, unfortunately uh, not uh, um, under these circumstances. Thankfully, no lives were lost. Well, can you bring us up to date and tell us exactly what's happened from 8.25 p.m. when this building collapsed till about now? All right, thank you so much. Now, uh, it's actually been a very wet day, and um, that did hinder uh, the evacuation exercise uh, earlier on. But thank God, you know, it has resumed and uh, everything is going, uh, uh, you know, according to plan. But talking about that, well, yesterday we can confirm that indeed five persons were rescued from the collapsed site. Well, three of them with minimal injuries, according to uh, the uh, FCT Emergency Management Department were taken to hospital and we have also spoken with them this morning. They came around and um, uh, just to be sure that yes, everything is going on according to plan. And so, well, thankfully, thankfully, well, no life uh, was indeed uh, lost in this particular uh, incident. But the worry here is that this is the third collapse building you know, the building that is collapsing this week alone. Now, that is a whole lot of reasons for us to worry. But just um, a couple of uh, days back, you know, it was in Guzapi. And, uh, you know, after then, you know, another place. So, so much, so much indeed to worry about. And, uh, you know, let's also thank God that there are rescue operators who definitely came in, responded in good time. Well, one of them, you know, just coming back again to the site of the incident, talking about the FCT Commissioner of uh, Police, uh, Bennett Igwe himself. And so, well, you know, he was uh, a key, he was key to yesterday's uh, rescue. And so perhaps uh, we will get to hear from him to know exactly how things have indeed uh, panned out. But then the good news, the good news once again, is that no life was lost in this particular incident. So we have the honor uh, of uh, having none other than the FCT Commissioner of Police himself, uh, Bennett Igwe. Just like I said yesterday, he was on ground, was one of the first responders, and uh, I'm sure he's going to have a whole lot to speak to us about. Well, uh, should I say congratulations that at least no life was lost yes. here, sir? Yes. Uh, we are very grateful. Uh, I still thank the uh, residents of FCT because when this thing happened, it's one of the passers by that called me. And I was in the office. That's if you like say one building here is falling, that building, that, that people are building. That's how we responded very quickly. And uh, I thank God, we did the rescue. We rescued three people immediately, and later we rescued two. Uh, it's not much, but no life is lost. All is safe. I think there's minor things they are going to correct. If you see the building, you can see the main building is standing. Maybe there was a minor or extension they want to do. So uh, there's no cause for alarm. Area is calm. I just came to check whether there is any other, uh, any, any death, because we know we are here throughout till this morning to ensure. Okay, okay. Igwe, let's talk about a collaboration. Now, we know that you work with a couple of teams. Well, the Everybody FCT Everybody was here yesterday night. I called everybody. I called Nema, I called Zeba Seed, I called Fema, I called Los Berger, I called the uh, fire service, I was here with uh, civil defense, road safety, all of us were here. It was a uh, development control, we are equally here from LCDA. Mokta was here, all of us were here till this morning. Uh, the collaboration is very wonderful. All right, thank you, Well, let's not take too much of your time. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. And we will just uh, switch. Uh, all right. So, and we will just uh, switch uh, over to the, you know, acting director general of the FCT Emergency Management Department, who also has been on ground since yesterday and indeed coordinating activities. Madam, I'm just going to go straight to you. Well, this is the third building collapse in the last one week. 
you know, this is so much of a problem for us now in the FCT? Well, the problem is the issue of compliance by, the, by developers, both private developers and individuals. If only they will comply by making sure they keep to building codes and each time they know they are going to carry out renovations on an existing building, they should make sure they carry out integrity tests. And that is it. But after advising them, you talk, we go on air, we go on social media, we have called meetings, series of meetings with private developers, individuals, uh, and other construction workers, other companies. We have always hold a meeting with them. We have meetings, series of meetings with them to make sure that we advise them accordingly, to make sure they keep to building codes. Employ once they want to get workers, they should make sure they get professionals, use standard materials, and the bottom line is for them to make sure they keep to building codes. Madam, unfortunately, well, we indeed saw that some part of this uh, building was indeed marked. You know, instructions are showing that this building, you know, questions around the building. But unfortunately, we still saw that construction work continued. Isn't that an indictment on the authorities in the FCT? Well, that is what I'm talking about, compliance. If only the residents of FCT will com we comply with our instructions, our advices, and keep to the building codes, such will not happen. After marking, sometimes you go to sleep, at night, by the time you wake up, you just discover that they have continued with the building. So what do you do? That is it. But right now, Development Control has taken over this construction site. This site is going to be sealed for now until they do the needful. Already we have invited NEBRI. NEBRI will be here to carry out integrity tests. Uh, Standard Organization will be here. And all the necessary MDAs, agencies, and um, other organizations that we need to do the needful, they are going to be invited, they have been invited in actual sense, and they'll be here. We are not living here, we make sure the complete structure is pulled down before we leave this place. Because if we leave it standing, there is every possibility that they want to continue from where we stop. But we have the men of the Nigerian police force on ground, we have the civil defense, they are all on ground, and this place is going to be called them. All right, Madam, just uh, take us again, you know, with, you know, the way things are. Well, when a building collapses, what usually happens uh, from this point? Yes, what will happen now is that FCT administration will take over the construction site. They, until they do the needful, if they are not able to meet to their demands and the required, the required building, uh, plan and other things, then it's not going to be approved. The government, uh, the administration can decide to take over the site completely. And that is why for now, we are going to seal this site for now. And it's going to be under the FCT administration's control. The, the uh, director of development control is here, get him. The director of development control is here. He has directed that this site be sealed. And you can talk to him since he's on ground. You can talk to him and he will, give you, he will give you the right response and the right thing that is going to be done. Because he is, development control is the lead agency in this situation. LCT Emergency Management Agency is our core mandate is to coordinate emergencies in the FCT and immediately and, we and came. And talking about that coordination, yes. how well was the response yesterday? Well, the response was very good because when we received the distress call on turning out, we activated all other stakeholders, development control, NEMA, FCT Fire Service, Federal Fire Service, uh, the, you can see Nigerian Red Cross is here, the Nigerian Police Force, and thanks to um, the construction companies within the FCT for, for their show of love, out of their own corporate social responsibilities, they came here with all the heavy duty equipment. We have them, but they didn't give us a chance to bring them. Wow. They decided to do it out of their own social corporate responsibilities. We have well over four construction companies here with their heavy duty we, equipment. We, 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 we must definitely say thank you so much thank for that. You very much. Thank all right, you. and uh, so that's indeed the situation as regards uh, uh, this uh, collapse uh, building. We will continue to monitor proceedings. Well, just like I said, well, three persons, uh, three persons uh, were evacuated from the site, taken to. Uh, 
the hospital yesterday and indeed we hear that they have been discharged to go home. So once again, there's no death as regards uh, this particular site. Duly noted, Senior Correspondent Ferdinand Duroja, live from Federal Capital Territory. Thank you so much for the update. We appreciate your time as always.